Okay, uh, welcome to my presentation. Uh, today I will talk about uh, delivering security fixes continuously into your embedded Linux. Uh, main target audience would be uh, embedded product developers, but not limited to them. So I hope this talk will be helpful for you. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Hirak Toyoka. Uh, I live in Yokohama and I'm a senior manager in EM Linux development team at Cybertrust Japan. Uh, EM Linux is a Yocto based Linux environment for embedded or IoT systems. Uh, uh, we have been developing and maintaining EM Linux since 2019. Uh, I'm also a maintainer of EM, uh, Meta EM Linux and Meta Debian Extended Layer. Uh, these are parts of EM Linux. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'm also contributing to CIP testing and Meta Debian a little. Uh, CIP is a collaborative open source project for industrial, industrial grade software. Uh, Cybertrust Japan is a member of the CIP project. And I have some experiences uh, of contribution to Linux kernel. Today's agenda is here. Uh, I'd like to start with background uh, of this talk. Uh, next, uh, I'd like to talk about some considerations to get prepared for security updates. After that, I'd like to introduce uh, how DM Linux provides continuous security updates. Okay, let's start. Uh, nowadays, uh, security updates are becoming recognized as essential uh, even in embedded systems. Because lots of cyber attacks on embedded or IoT devices have all already been observed. Uh, these attacks are against from familiar items such as home appliances and cars to infrastructures uh, such as buildings, factories, and plants. In addition, uh, cybersecurity related standards, guidelines, regulations, uh, require security update processes. Uh, these standards are uh, these these standards are established by each country or each industry. For example, IoT IoT device in general, uh, automotive, medical, or industrial control systems, and uh, procurement requirements may include such standards. So you may be involved uh, even, even if those standards are not legally enforced yet. On the other hand, uh, how is vulnerability handling in Linux community? For example, in Linux kernel, 150 to 350 vulnerabilities are reported annually. Uh, Greg's, pre Greg's presentation says uh, average fixed date is minus 100, 100 days and bugs are fixed before you realize it. So this means, uh, thankfully, Linux community, Linux community release security fixes quickly in most cases. But what about your embedded Linux? It is often observed that uh, product developers are unable to leverage those fixes for their own products. Uh, <clears throat> so you may you may not uh, you may not able to leverage those fixes for your product when uh, you don't when you don't have an appropriate maintenance plan or processes or your embedded Linux is inconsistent with open source upstream ecosystem. 
from the next uh, from the next part, uh, we will see some points to be checked with uh, how such situations happen and what we should do to change such situations. Next part is considerations to get prepared for security attack uh, security <laughs> updates. Sorry. Uh, first point to be checked is, do you have any maintenance plan or maintenance process? Uh, it's too late to think about them after shipment or just before shipment. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, so if you don't have any plan or process, then you cannot respond quickly to sudden incidents, uh, or uh, in addition, uh, your embedded Linux will become difficult to maintain. It's, it is described later. Uh, <clears throat> so you'd better to consider the, the appropriate maintenance plan and processes from the beginning of development. Such plan process may uh, plan, such plan or process may include uh, maintenance, period, maintenance period, cycle, uh, update model, uh, how to check vulnerabilities, how to prepare the fix, how to verify the update, uh, how to deploy the update, and so on. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, next point to be checked is, does your update process work? Now, you have maintenance process uh, prepared five years ago, uh, but is the process itself still maintained after shipment? Uh, if, the, if the update is assumed as only on demand or once in the decade, then nobody may have experienced the actual update or developer who created the process may no longer be employed, or software update feature or infrastructure may, may be broken. So we need some kind of measures. I think the most reliable way is uh, to practice or check the maintenance process continuously. Periodical practice will prevent these problems. Next point to be checked is where do you get the security fix from? Uh, Linux kernel in embedded product is typically based, based on LTS long term stable version and customized for your hardware. LTS version has a limited maintenance period. Uh, for example, recent Linux kernel LTS trees have been maintained for six years. So once the maintenance period of the upstream LTS version ends, it will be difficult to get security fixes that match your tree. Uh, so you should always use the actively maintained version, or you need to backport the fixes to your tree by yourself, but it's costly. Next point to be checked is how do you cover the long term life cycle of your product? The maintenance period of LTS version is limited, so you will need some kind of update model. Uh, one possible way is long term support model uh, that, that keep using one LTS version as long as possible. If the life, life cycle of your product uh, is longer than maintenance period of the uh, maintenance period of the LTS kernel. Uh, major version upgrade is necessary. Uh, they, there are uh, pros and cons. Uh, in long term support model, uh, uh, pros is uh, uh, less opportunities to modify product specific software. Uh, product specific software 
means uh, drivers and applications. Uh, cons is a large migration cost at version up and a possible delay in security fixes in later phase. Uh, rolling update model always use uh, uh, or always use the latest LTS or stable version. Uh, PROS is a quick response to security bugs and new feature utilization. CONS is more opportunities to modify product-specific software. Update model is not limited to these ones. Anyway, it should be considered according to your product. Next point to be checked is how do you take the security fix into your product, product tree? Uh, cherry picking only the fix patch from the LTS tree is not recommended for Linux kernel because LTS trees merge many changes at a fast pace. So prerequisite code is uh, so prerequisite code to apply the fix may be missing in your tree. If you cherry pick, you need more time to confirm uh, to confirm if the bug is really fixed. In addition, other non-security bugs will remain in your product. So you should take all up LTS updates into your product tree. Uh, and uh, also, uh, you should sync your tree with the latest state of the LTS tree continuously. It is useful to keep your product. Uh, it is useful to keep your product ready for the next security updates. Uh, now I cherry picked some things from other presentations. <laughs> so uh, Greg says a small fraction of kernel fixes get CVEs, uh, and cherry picking CVEs result in insecure system. And Kato-san's present, uh, Kato-san's slide says, uh, we are using LTS is not enough. It doesn't make sense if you don't keep incrementing X of 4.19.X. In this way, uh, taking all updates are recommended. Next point to be checked is how much out of tree code do you have? Out of tree code is the code not merged to main line. Products, products can, kernel tree is often based on the BSP or the SOC evaluation board. Most BSPs contain out of tree code for quick evaluation of hardware functions. Uh, and uh, additional out of tree code is added when supporting product hardware. But massive amount of out of tree code causes lots of conflicts when you take LTS fixes into your product <coughs> tree. Then your embedded Linux will become difficult to maintain. On the other hand, uh, some hardware some hardware vendors are doing upstreaming mainlining activities in the Linux kernel community to have their own hardware support code integrated into the mainline tree. You can avoid huge maintenance costs by selecting hardware whose support code is well integrated into the mainline. So software's ecosystem is also important when selecting hardware. Next point to be checked is, is your QA system ready for continuous updates? More QA, uh, so, uh, so QA process will be required before the update in the field. Uh, 
So uh, more QA opportunities lead to more cost, especially if it is more, it is most, uh, especially if it is uh, mostly done manually. And lead time is also an issue. Uh, so test automation, test, test automation or CI CD is required for continuous and quick updates at a feasible cost. Next, I will explain how EM Linux provides continuous security updates uh, as an example of continuous security, up, security updates. Uh, EM Linux is a uh, Yocto-based embedded, uh, embedded Linux environment. It is developed and maintained by Cybertrust Japan, and it is used by various embedded product vendors. Its purpose is to deliver security fixes and bug fixes to users continuously. Uh, uh, this is a brief overview of maintenance plan and maintenance processes for EM Linux. Please note that uh, EM Linux is supposed to be customized, so it is not directly deployed in the final product. Uh, so maintenance period is uh, 10 years per major version, uh, standard five years plus uh, late phase five years, uh, and maintain, uh, maintenance updates are provided um, monthly. Update model is based on LTS model, uh, plus uh, major, version, uh, major version upgrade will be provided every four years on the current plan. But we may shorten this to two years in the future. For checking vulnerabilities, uh, Yocto CV check feature extended for EM Linux is um, used, uh, and we have an in-house CVE review process. For preparing the fix, uh, we take all upstream fixes from CIP super long term stable kernel and Debian packages. For verification of the update, uh, we verify changes uh, continuously with in house EM Linux CI system. For deployment uh, of the update, uh, it's, it depends on users, so I, I, uh, I, I don't uh, explain here. So the reason why we choose LTS model is uh, this. Uh, LTS model is uh, easy, easier for most users to start the security maintenance process, including CI/CD processes. And in LTS model, uh, there are less changes in features or interfaces compared to rolling update model. This, uh, that leads uh, less impacts on product-specific code, and test cases are reusable for a long time. Are for a long time. Uh, that said, uh, we will also provide major version updates uh, for for strict security requirements. To realize EM Linux maintenance period and cycle. We leverage super long term stable kernel maintained for 10 plus years by CIP project. Cybertrust Japan is a member of CIP, so we are making some contributions to these activities. SLTS kernel has upstream fast policy, and all LTS bug fixes are merged. SLTS kernel team is making twice a month release for 4.19 and 5.10 kernel currently. Uh, so we use C 
CIP kernel sec uh, to check kernel vulnerabilities. Uh, CIP kernel sec is uh, CIP's Linux kernel CVE tracker. This is maintained by Masami Ichikawa uh, from Cybertrust Japan uh, every few days, uh, frequently, it's every few days. Uh, this is integrated to EM Linux to have the Yokto's CVE check feature output accurate CVE status for SLTS kernel. This is an uh, example of CVE issue file. Uh, uh, so uh, introduced or fixed divisions are included. EM Linux is leveraging also Debian user land packages via MetaDebian layer. MetaDebian is a Yocto project extension for using Debian source packages. It is created by Toshiba people. Uh, as a feature of Debian packages, uh, stable, version, stable version typically accepts only bug fixes. And it has three plus two years maintenance period and extended LTS as a few, few years. Uh, and, uh, some, uh, and some packages will be maintained as CIP core packages for 10 years. Uh, by using MetaDebian, we can update package, package version to Debian's latest version. Uh, and uh, Debian security tracker's data uh, is integrated to Yocto CVE check. In addition, uh, Cybertrust Japan made MetaDebian extended layer. This includes additional packages for MetaDebian. And uh, EM Linux is continuously verified with in-house EM Linux CI to support monthly updates and daily development. And uh, found bugs and issues are feedback to each upstream project. Uh, EM Linux depends on many open source projects related to test automation. Uh, we are making lots of contributions to build a better test automation ecosystem. It is also helpful to stabilize EM Linux. Uh, projects related to test, uh, test automation include uh, kernel CI, uh, CIP testing, and buildbot, and, and Lava, Lava. Especially in kernel CI, uh, Alice, uh, yeah, uh, Alice Ferretti uh, from Cybertrust Japan is a TSC member uh, and a maintainer for some sub-projects. Uh, so sub-projects include uh, Labadoka. Lab, Lab and when we find issues or make bug fixes, we try to give feedback to upstream uh, uh, to upstream projects uh, as much as possible. Uh, it is also uh, helpful to reduce self-maintenance over the long term. Projects we have provided feedback on include uh, Linux kernel, uh, Linux LTS kernel, uh, Debian, Yocto project, uh, Open Embedded, uh, UTO Linux, and so on. Okay, let me recap my talk. I talked about how to delivering security fixes continuously. To deliver security fixes to your product, uh, to your embedded Linux, we need to consider a maintenance plan and processes from the beginning of development. And we need to keep your embedded Linux constant, consistent with open source ecosystem. And we need to make we need to make whole maintenance system ready for continuous updates.
Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that's all of my slide. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Sure. Hello. Uh, thank you for the good talk. So. You said that people shouldn't cherry pick LTS fixes. You should take whole LTSs and integrate them as one thing. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder if there's downsides to that as well, because we've seen that regressions have been picked into the LTS branches automatically. Then they've got merged into people's trees, and no one's noticed that actually they've not merged security fixes. They've merged regressions by mistake. Is there like? I think just, just merging LTSs isn't enough. People need to do some sort of due diligence on what they're merging to make sure they aren't also merging regressions with security fixes. Do you think there's like some process that has to be added on to just not just get merged, but some post-merge process that has to happen for people to properly use LTSs? Uh, sorry, uh, I, I couldn't catch uh, the point. Uh, oh, so, so, um, could, 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 could you? Uh, talk, uh, more slowly. <laughs> okay. So, so say there's an LTS, yeah, and it has a fix you want. Mm -hmm. You don't just cherry pick the single commit you want. You mm -hmm. take the whole, so 4.900 million, whatever it is now. You don't take the single fix. You take the whole LTS into your branch, and yeah. you add that to your branch. But we've seen in the past that because the LTS process is automatic, like it's mostly just um, like a script, we've seen that inside of patches you want, inside the LTSs, there are also regressions for things. And so what I'm saying is you can't just git merge everything. There has to, I think there has to be some like post process after that. The, Maybe basically, do you think it's do you think it's safe to merge LTSs like in one big go? So, so uh, <laughs> sorry, I I I couldn't catch. <laughs> so, uh, so you mean uh, so 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 uh, taking all updates uh, yeah. make some. プログレス。いや、となんだっけ。なんだ。いきなりあのその全部全部マージしなきゃいけない。でも逆になんかそのコミットだけ欲しかったけど、このなんか何百個マージして、その何百人何が入ってたちゃんと確認しなきゃいけないでしょとか、なんかちょっとあのいきないです全部マージするのは
after a uh, margin security fix? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so it depends on cases, but um, so we um, so we can test uh, some uh, in interfaces uh, such as uh, Cisco API or other APIs. Uh, so so for for for, uh, for ch checking. Uh, Degrade. Uh, 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 so yeah, ch 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 checking if degrade uh, uh, is happen or uh, ha happened or not. Yeah. So and um, so in uh, so in in uh, in even Linux CI uh, system uh, we test. Uh, Build, boot, uh, package test, uh, smoke test, uh, network, or graphics test. Uh, yeah, but um, so it 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 uh, so it it depends on uh, use case. Uh, so uh, if 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 it is it is enough or not. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Ah, sure. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I have a question for the word in page 22. Uh, you said uh, yeah, some major version upgrade also uh, will be provided for strict security requirement. It, it, that, does it mean you uh, may provide a major version update for specific packages for the any uh, yeah, many kind of packages at the same time. Uh, I, I just want to know uh, yeah uh, some some impact uh, yeah have you uh, ever uh, observed some impact of this change of the yeah major version upgrade uh, because you were based on uh, LTS. Uh, no, no, uh, LTS style uh, update. Yeah, so th th this major version upgrade means uh, 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 whole, 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 uh, whole uh, oh, okay. system upgrade. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so bo bo both uh, kernel and uh, user land package. All, all, all of user land packages, uh, yeah. but but uh, uh, major, major, major version upgrade uh, of specific packages uh, uh, is also uh, as possible. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, that's all my presentation. Uh, thank you for attending. <laughs>